Notion seems to be everywhere these days. Even if you're only just dipping your toes into the world of YouTube productivity, chances are that you've heard about this magical app that claims to be doubling everyone's productivity. I've always been skeptical about how third-party apps could possibly beat the native ones on your phone. However, you may be interested to hear how, after trying Notion, it quickly became the only app that I use and value enough to put on my extremely minimal iPhone home screen. So because you guys asked about this in previous videos, I've teamed up with Notion, who are kindly sponsoring this video, to give you a run through of my own Notion setup and how it's completely changed the way that I organize my life. To give this some context, for the longest time, the iPhone Notes app was my thing. In my eyes, nothing beat the simplicity of an editable blank page in your pocket that's available at all places and at all times. But the various task lists that I kept making tended to get incredibly long, jumbled and complicated, and there was never a way to organise my thoughts, either by date, project or topic. So this is how Notion sold me. I found it to be a bit like a beautiful notes app, but on steroids, because it solves all of these problems. However, it's also accessible from pretty much any device with an internet connection, synchronizing seamlessly regardless of the OS, meaning that I can work on my notes, not only from my computer, but also from my laptop or my phone, or even from a friend's web browser. So when you open the app, along the side you have your sidebar, which I've separated into three separate dashboards, which is split up into the three main areas of my life. Work, which is everything related to my YouTube channel. Learning, which is my place for book notes and memorable quotes. And personal, which holds all of my miscellaneous private projects and subcategories like goals, family, real estate and travel. So the main area where I spend most of my time is this work dashboard where I've got different pages which are split up according to different subcategories. So I've got a page for video ideas, which basically serves as a huge brain dump so I can quickly jot down different things as they come to mind, and then a page for the live projects that I'm working on, with several pages beneath for each of the different platforms that I use. And then finally, near the bottom, I've got more admin -y stuff, like a channel handbook, which is a bit like my North Star and mission statement for the channel. And then finally, a page with all of the information on the sponsors that I've worked with. The main page where I spend most of my time in is here in the YouTube projects page. What's great about this page is that it's a database, so it's split up a bit like a spreadsheet with rows and columns. However, each column can be assigned specific and super intuitive functions to help with things like categorization and date with each row being openable as its own individual page, which then contains the inputs for the respective columns that it's under. As you can imagine, this is super useful as a way to see everything that you're doing at a glance. And then essentially, you can just click on a project for more information, creating sub pages within pages almost infinitely. I'm using this to plan YouTube videos, but you could easily do exactly the same thing, for instance, with note taking when attending lectures, conferences or meetings. And then everything that you put down can be categorized by date, subject or significance. And it is super simple to set up. So basically, to make a database like this, all you have to do is go to your dashboard and create a page and it will immediately show up in your sidebar. Then once you've done that, you open the page and click database, which will then give you the database structure to start manipulating it. So in mine, I have the columns title, status, which uses the select function, sponsor, deadline, publish date, topic, project number, date created and notes. And you could very easily do exactly the same thing for meetings or lectures, with categories like the speaker or author, the attendees, the book or document references, the location, literally anything. And it's all there, super organised and immediately accessible from almost any device. So to create your first project within this database, you click New, and then you can open this as a page to fill out the information for your respective columns, which also appears here then it's super powerful because you can now create pages within this page that are related to the project. So for example, I like to have the pages for an outline, a script, a shot list and one for publishing. Then I'll create a project checklist below like this, which shows all of the repeatable tasks involved when creating a YouTube video and then I'll tick these off as I progress. So obviously you're not going to want to create this every time you start a new project. So what you can also do is save it as a template. 
There might be a better way to do this, but what I do is I highlight and copy all of my pages and my checklist, and then I navigate to the right hand corner of the database where it has the blue new button, and then click the drop down menu and select new template. Then you can simply copy and paste it all inside and name your template whatever you wish. Once this is all saved, whenever you open up a new project within this database, you'll find an option to use your template. And then once selected, it will populate your project with your custom structure all for you in just one click, which is insanely useful, especially if you're a slow typer and thinker like me. So my actual populated YouTube projects database looks a little something like this. And so when I start a new project, I open up a new template, which I pretty much 100% copied from the productivity legend that is Ali Abdal. So he gets full credit for this. So make sure you go and check his channel out. Basically, the page within this template that has the most structure is my outline page, which is where I usually start in order to flesh out the video structure without really having to think too much. In here, I've got a section for brainstorming potential title and thumbnail ideas, a little section with some generic questions that Ali provided in his template, which are sometimes really useful for getting you into the flow of writing. And then finally, subsections for the outline divided into the hook, intro, body and conclusion, with little toggles here for guidance, which I refer to in order to make sure that I'm not going too far off piste. So basically I'll go through this, carefully filling it out, and then I'll transition the information into the pages that I've dedicated for the script and the shot list. Once I've done this, I'm ready to start filming and editing, and then I'll tick off the tasks on my checklist as I go. This has been amazing because of how well it synchronizes across all of my devices. So for instance, if I have a video idea while I'm away from my desk, I can quickly jot it down before it evaporates and then access it on my computer later. And the same goes for my shot list, which I can access and use as a checklist away from my computer on my phone, which speeds up the whole process and then saves me from having to email myself or print things off, whilst also making sure that nothing gets lost as plans inevitably change as the project continues. In all honesty, Notion has been one of those rare apps that completely changed the way that I think about my work. And the best thing is, is that the personal plan that I use is completely free. So you really have nothing to lose, but it also has really powerful plans for team collaboration too, which I'll probably try and take advantage of as this YouTube channel grows. But even if you use it just for simple text pages and notes, like I was to begin with, it's immediately way more effective and opens up more possibilities as you get more comfortable with it, even allowing you to embed things like web pages and videos, and even write code if you know how. I personally like to keep my notion as minimal and as intentional as possible, so I've really done my best to strip this back to make it super straightforward and clear to understand across all of my pages. And most of the pages that I have on my account are all pretty similar to the ones that I've shown here. However, the possibilities with Notion are massive, so I'm intrigued to see how this might change for me over time. But because I still like having paper to write on for certain things, I still keep my classic moleskin planner as a habit tracker and schedule. But when paired together with this, Notion has completely taken my productivity and mental clarity to a whole other level. But before I end the video, I have to give a shout out to the YouTube productivity legends themselves, Ali Abdal and Thomas Frank, who are the guys who introduced me to this awesome app. And a massive thank you to Notion for reaching out to sponsor this video. If you enjoyed it, hitting the like button really helps me out. And if you're interested in hearing more about my workflow and thought process, you may also enjoy the video I made at the start of the year, where I talk about what I learned when reaching 100K. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.